I have an attic. The attic's right up there. My ass will never go up there. I ain't trying to figure out what's in there. It may not be a ghost, but it might be a raccoon, and I ain't trying to get attacked in the face. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna react to a video by Salise Rose. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. If I am, comment below and let me know. I think it is Salise Rose and this video is called Finally Went Inside My Haunted Attic. Now listen, I love the paranormal. I love to hear ghost stories, spirit stories, whatever you wanna call it. I actually like to go to places that are haunted. Um, I went to New Orleans and that place is known for that and of course I went on haunted tours um, Here in Illinois, there's a place called Galena and they have a lot of haunted tours there as well I just love it. There's something about it. I love it. Will I be going by myself to these places? Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Never. I'm with a group. Okay. We believe my house is actually haunted if that's what you want to call it. I prefer that a spirit lives here along with us. We truly believe that there's been some activity like here in the hallway and whatnot, but hey, we really don't know. Maybe it's in our heads, I don't know, but we're gonna see what this video is about. Now, Salise Rose is actually very popular. She was really known with her little funny clips on Facebook, Instagram, and what was the other one, Vine? Was it Vine? I never had Vine, so I never knew these people. But I know her from Facebook. She now has a YouTube channel, and she's already at 1.9 million subscribers. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this video. By the way, she is Hispanic. I don't know exactly what she is. Puerto Rican, Mexican, I don't know. If you know, comment below. She is a lesbian woman. She just came out not too long ago. By the way, I wear contacts on this channel because when I wear glasses, you'll see the reflection of the lights and I record at nighttime, so I can't do that. So that's why I wear my contacts. It's kind of shitty at the moment because one contact is really bothering me and I'm seeing blurry on this side, okay? So I'm gonna watch this half blind, but it's all right. Let's go ahead and watch this, yo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As your lipstick on my teeth, hold on. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sally Strokes, aka Sauce Strokes, aka Mom Biscuit. So for today's video, if you guys saw, which a lot of you guys did, by the grace of God, I saw the video where I was explaining how my house is haunted. And you guys saw the proof, you guys saw the evidence, you guys saw that it was not a game. As you guys know, I don't live in this house anymore, but yes, I still own it, it's still my house, but I do not live here anymore. But um, I was like, okay. When I told you guys in the other YouTube video, the haunted house one, I was like, okay guys, I have this attic in my garage and I've never been in it. I've never wanted to go in there. I just, I think I've watched too many scary movies to know that the attic, it's like, you know, demons up there, you know? It's in the scary movies, there's like, always people up there, it's just very, very creepy, so I've never been up there. And a couple of my friends have been wanting to go up there and I'm like, no, no, no. The other day, my mom FaceTimes me and she's in my attic. And she's like, I'm trying to clean it. And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? You just let out the demons, what are you doing? Now that my mom broke the spell or whatever, I'm just being dramatic. I was like, what better way? And what per what more perfect time than now to go in the attic? So what we're gonna do right now is I have my family with me, a bunch of my cousins. So right now we're gonna go in the attic. We're gonna turn off all the lights and we're gonna oh no see what we could hear, what we could see. I'm actually very very scared. I don't normally mess with stuff like this, but um, we're gonna be doing that right now. And then I have one of my cousins here with me. So my cousin and her mom, a sixth sense. Yeah, so <laughs> you can't just invite one family member. If you're Hispanic, you're inviting the whole clan. Cousin and her mom have that, so they can they can see spirits, they can feel them. Oh wow! They just they have that, which I don't have. A lot of people don't have it, but some people do have it, and I'm glad that two people in my family have. And they told me a fun fact about my house a couple of weeks ago on Mother's Day about what they felt. And I was like, I'm glad I don't live here anymore. So this whole haunted house thing, like I was not lying, it's 100% true. And I'm gonna give you guys a couple of stories and what they've been feeling in this house while we're in the attic. So if you guys aren't scared, well, you guys are strong because I'm scared. So if you have not, you grab your food, your beverages, whatever you want to munch on the video. Let's get started. What? All right, it's already going. I'll right. munch on my Skittles. Know, this is the creepiest hallway that I have down here. Come. My sister's holding a flashlight right here because I'm not gonna be too down here. So we're gonna go down this way. Because you guys know the attic is in the garage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, there's stairs, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna stare down. We're all gonna go up there. It's not gonna. 
I think she has um ADHD. That's my dog with his toy. I think she has ADHD. Uh, she's very hyperactive. Talks a whole bunch. Talks like 10,000 words miles per hour. She talks like 10 miles per hour. She talks like really fast, so it's hard to catch up. Can we before I live there? I don't know the weight limit. No. I've been eating a lot. <laughs> she's funny. She cracks her little punchlines and stuff, but she moves on so quickly to the next thing. It's like, we, we, you're not even giving us a chance to laugh. So, let's go. It's not dark out here, but leave the flashlight on because we're all going to go through. So as you guys can see right here, that is the street to the attic. I've never went to go up there. I've always found it kind of creepy because, you know, who normally goes in their attic on a regular Sunday afternoon? No, hold it. Pull the string. <laughs> you had to turn it Careful, careful, careful. Ah, uh, oh hell no, yo, this is so <laughs> I'm going to die. Ooh, I will never. Oh, yeah, I don't want to go up there. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, so the stairs right there, you have to pull them down. Here, you pull it down. <laughs> there you go. Get the cameraman to do there it. There you go. Oh. You could make a studio in there. Mm-mm. Yeah, right. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm very jumpy right now. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is it. This is the attic, as you guys can see. You guys know, in like a bunch of scary movies, they're always in the attic or they're, they're in, what's that one movie where they hide in the attic and they put like stuff um, over it? It's like a huge one that just came out. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, it comes to my paranormal activity. Yeah, like they're always in the attic. They're always in there and <laughs> I've just always been freaked out by, oh, if I had a basement, I would sell the house. A basement, <laughs> not I'm actually scared. Why don't you put the camera on? Can I make This is, this is risky. Wait. Are you sure this is not gonna break? I'm not about that leg. Oh, okay. you're tripping, girl. I told you oh, that stuff is different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight the air. Oh shit! Is there gonna be a rat up here? Is there that, be a friggin that's what I'll be more afraid of: is the damn rodents, the mice, the rats, whatever it is, the bugs, the spiders, the raccoons, the squirrels. Ah. Yo, it smells like sweat here. Are you sure it's not gonna break yes. the roof? Yes. People store stuff up here. It's not gonna break. No. Okay. It's hot and it's creepy up here. Yeah, there's spider webs. I'm fighting. Oh, it's too dark. I can't see what's going on. Okay, I think it's so. okay, guys. There's how many of us are up here? Three, four, six of us up here. It's a devil's number. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you guys, so now we're up here in the attic. It looks like it's hella bright, but there's just like. Goddamn 47 flashlights on my face right now, look. <laughs> and then put this one over here. So my cousin right now is gonna tell you guys because her and her mom have have that sixth sense. Or okay, so at first when we slept over, I felt there there was someone in there that wasn't one of us. Oh, bitch. So you could feel like their energy around the house, and then and only in certain parts of the house. Uh huh. So mostly like around like in the hallways and the rooms and stuff. Don't I always talk about the hallways. Yeah. The hallways are the creepiest parts. And when I was sleeping here, I woke up. What woke me up was the smell of cigarette smoke being thrown in my face. And that woke me up and I couldn't fall back to sleep. So because I kept smelling that. And in the room, it was just me. And no one smokes here. No. And it's just weird to smell that in a sense. And the house does not smell like that. So when I told my mom that, she thought it was crazy. She's like, no, it's not haunted. You're just overreacting. And it's crazy because when I was... Really? Gizmo, be quiet. Being here, I, I didn't say anything because I can't, but like I felt things. I heard a bunch of stuff. Doors would slam. You guys, oh my God. And to hear that just goes to show that like I'm not all that... Hold on, give me a second. Be quiet. I'm filming. No, no, no. Go that way. Go. God damn. Can I work? Easy. So I feel like this house, you think it's haunted or you think it's like, you think it's good? It's spirits? not haunted. It, or, it's they're not necessarily bad spirits right. because they're not harming you. They're right. just messing around. Right. If, I don't want to mess around. Pris wants our house to be blessed, but I feel like if they're not bothering us, 
then why should we mess with that? You know, just let them, let them live along with us. I mean, if, if it's not your home, it's out on the streets, it's at work, it's spirits are all around us. It's, we can all coexist. <laughs> what start actually harming you then yeah it's gonna be a bad spirit you're gonna have to get rid of it but right now it's calm you're fine but it's, it's when you do stuff like this oh bitch <laughs> no. when you do i'm gonna awaken the beast <laughs> when you do stuff like this it might make activity okay more yeah. Oh, so you're saving no. your activity for more youtube videos <laughs> <laughs> content coming soon <laughs> and this Oh, it's a wind. <laughs> Has the activity begun? <laughs> I'm just kind of creepy to know that, like, the first house that I bought, I love to be alone. Like, any spots I've ever lived in, like, when I live alone all the time. I love being home alone. Like, I never get scared. I'm fine. I love ask it too. Ask my mom. Ask my family. This is the first spot that I've been in that I hate being alone. I dread it. I get scared. I want to come home. And at night, it's so scary. What if we set up cameras and leave it up? Like in the house for 24 hours. Or not at night. You're gonna wake it up. <laughs> okay, well, you hold me up. <laughs> okay, so right now, as we're like stopping the video, because I'm gonna take like a thumbnail picture right now, what'd you hear? Alright, I heard like over there in that corner. Oh. And I got scared, I got the chill. You know what, you guys are probably like, it's not a big deal, it's a no. That could just be him being paranoid. It's but like, you, in order, if you guys are in a house that you know, maybe it's not haunted, but like there's like, Spirits in here, like any noise you hear is gonna freak you out. Right. I hear it, but like I believe him because I've heard stuff here on my own. I've a door slammed here on its own, lights turned on, my fireplace turned on its own. Like it, it's it's not. Our stovetop has turned on when we're sleeping. Uh, it's happened twice since we've lived here, and literally the first time we had people living in the basement, we were not even in the house. We were out somewhere else, and they said that they that the stove was on. Okay, the gas was. Just the gas. That's scary, that's dangerous. But anyways, no one knew what happened because no one cooked that day. And then, um, not too long ago, a few months ago, same thing happened. Me and Pris were sleeping. We had other people living here. They were out and about. But when they came inside the house, it smelled like gas, I guess. And they woke us up from our sleep and they told us that um, you guys left the gas on. Once we got out of our room, you can smell the gas. Like it's, it was crazy. But we didn't cook that day. We were the only ones in the house all day. So literally that was pretty scary and it can be kind of dangerous. I don't know what that was about. Coincidence, it's so creepy. Can I say something? No, what? <laughs> what? No, I'm just gonna say something like, whenever, if you hear some, so, the way I can like feel stuff, see stuff, hear stuff. Yeah. Uh, I usually attract it more by saying, "Yeah, that's a ghost." Like, "Yes, this is a spirit." But when people say, "Oh no," when they hear something, they're like, "Oh no, it's just the wind." Oh no, it was probably just an animal on the roof or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you'll start closing off to that, and then you'll experience ghost things less. Yeah, right. that's how my mom is. Yeah, right, so right. that's what your mom does. She yep. says, no, it's just the wind. No, it's just like your imagination. Mm -hmm. So she's more closed off to that stuff, so she won't experience any paranormal stuff. Right. But when you're more open to like it... Like you and like me, yeah. you hear more, you feel more, right? Yeah, so I'm a lot more open to it, so I'll experience things. But when I don't want to experience anything, like I'm not down for it, things will get intense sometimes because I can literally see stuff and <gasps> oh, baby, so yes. when things get too oh. intense for me i usually be i'll just be like no it was just my imagination uh, like i close myself off to it so i won't experience things a lot but right now I'm, i've been opening myself to it so i've been experiencing things experiencing things in my house and yeah, Why are they filming her? Like <laughs> I wanna yeah. like what she said like my mom is it I wanna see who's talking. <laughs> Obviously you guys know but like my mom she could be home alone and someone could be like, hey, it could be like ghosts and she'd be like, ah, ah, ah. I obviously have That's food poisoning. I, I have food poisoning, it's, <laughs> it's not. But like, cause she doesn't want to get scared, but like me and my cousin, we're that type of people that are kind of like that too, no? Mm -hmm. If you're like, she's like open to it, like whenever your body's like more aware, you get, I think, scared faster, you mm -hmm. you listen more, yeah. you are more aware of the things around you, and that's how you kind of scare yourself a little bit more. That's what I do, and then I overthink, and yeah, that's what happens. It's so, scary. like, most people have like either modern, or this, or this, or anything, but your guys is very antique. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Oh. 
No lie, that's crazy. And I really don't think this is a skit. I really don't think that they're that this is all planned. I really believe they were that was a slamming of the door. Oh, I'm out. I'm out of here. <laughs> we need to get no picture. Of it. <laughs> like, Y'all heard that? Shortly after hearing that noise, we left. <laughs> Hell yeah, what the fuck. As we were leaving, look what we found. All right, you guys, we're gonna head right here because there's nails. Okay, okay. here's your phone. There you right, go, guys, much better. This. It's so freaking hot up here, and we're done. And we're hearing noises in here, and I'm not okay with it anymore. Yeah. What? Where? Hold on. Point the light, Elan. Point the light. Point the light. What? Yeah. You guys didn't <gasps> notice that? I noticed that. Yo, that's a window over there. Hold on, hold on. I can't what? focus it. Oh, go to the rest of the house. Oh, part two? Yo! You know what you're not talking about. Yo, there's a window over there. <gasps> Uh -uh. We out. Part two, you guys? Okay. Nah, don't even play with okay. that. <gasps> don't even play. Y'all are messing with these spirits, man. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. I don't play with that. Like, yes, I go to haunted places and stuff like that, but that's like far, far away from where I'm at. And people have told me, I know, people have told me that when you go mess with spirits, that they follow you back home. And I don't think that's happened. I think the spirit that has been here has always been here. This stuff started happening when we first moved in, so. It is what it is. Let's all live together. <laughs> all right, I hope y'all like this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment below and let me know what other YouTubers you would like for me to react to. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and please subscribe to Bliss and Press at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. See y'all in the next video. Peace.